people do get excited about cocktails for the holidays, so being able to do that and present guests at a party or a dinner with any of that is always a bonus. One of my favorite things to do is I like to create festive or seasonal punch bowls, especially at home, because it, it sort of doesn't take anybody away from socializing and I think uh, with a lot of nice beautiful punch bowls out there it can be a real centerpiece and really get people talking. A lot of the cocktails that we do make though you can also batch them in large quantities. There's a few specific cocktails that we make at the Drake that people get really excited about over the holidays and fly like hotcakes off the bars. There's the salted caramel flip which has straw rum, calvados, a salted caramel syrup, some powdered cumin and a whole egg. With using egg and egg white, you wanna make sure that you dry shake that first, which just means that there's no ice. That's gonna emulsify the egg and the rest of the ingredients and really get a nice thick frothiness and it, it looks fantastic. Flavor-wise, you're getting a rich caramel flavor and I think it's the texture and the feel to the cocktail that people really get behind. We have the root beer old fashioned. This has sesame infused rye, Gosling's black seal rum, a root beer syrup, Booker's Bitters, a Wormwood Bitters, and it's garnished with a lemon zest. This is very unique, and I think there's a lot of nostalgia behind it. It's one of those things that's got this very unique cocktail flavor to it, and the name and, and such gets people excited. Probably one of my favorite holiday and winter cocktails is the Brown Butter Maple Old Fashioned. It's got a fat-washed bourbon, and that's done with butter, so it's essentially butter-infused bourbon, maple syrup, some mole bitters, and a bit of a cigar tincture. It's beautiful, it's got nice wintry rich flavors and then it's garnished with an orange which sort of gives it a, a light sort of floral finish to it. That's probably gotta be our best selling cocktail in the winter months. It's a lot of work to bring to a party but yeah, I mean if you can pull it off, absolutely. The deliverance is a probably close second when it comes to winter cocktails for me. It's a cedar infused bourbon, some Calvados, a bit of Fernet Branca, and maple syrup. And it's super simple, but it's so flavorful. Like this is sitting at your cottage by the fire in the winter. That's what this cocktail tastes like. I could drink these by the gallon. A lot of my favorite cocktails are, are the most simple. Like you look at classic cocktails, there's not 17 ingredients, you know? It's, you get to the point, three or four, and they work really well. If someone were to bring these cocktails to a party, yeah, I think they would be a hit. That means you would be making cocktails most of the night, which takes away from your ability to party.